In this video, we'll learn to understand and use common 2D representations of 3D objects. So, what you have in front is 2D representations of 3D shapes, which resemble 3D objects like boxes, maybe ice cream cones, maybe balls. So, this here is a cube, and so is this one, and we have cuboids over here cones, pyramids, um, cylinders and spheres. So just by looking at them we should be able to know where are the faces, so which ones are the faces and we know these are the faces of the cube and where are the corners or the vertices and also the edges. So, oh, the bases, where are the bases? By looking at them, we should be able to identify them. So, if we're given dimensions, we should be able to work out surface areas or areas of faces or volumes. So, if we're given that this is one centimetre, then we know that this is going to be centimetre and this one centimetre and so on, because... This is a cube, so we can deduct the volume through this, which has got to be one centimetre cubed. Or we can work out the surface area because we know there are six faces in here and each and every one of them is one centimetre squared. So that must be six centimetres squared overall. And the same thing, if we're given the radius, we should be able to work out the volume of the cone and... If we're given here the radius as well, maybe the surface area, maybe the uh, volume. But at this level, we're given the formulas for this. So that shouldn't be a problem. Or when it comes to the cuboid, if we're given the dimensions, we should be able to work out the surface areas. We should be able to work out perimeter of certain faces or the area of certain faces or the volume. We can also find the lines of symmetry because we know that this is halfway through this phase, so this must be halfway through. So this cuts the shape in half. Or this one here, for example, this one here as well. So this helps us a lot because these resemble. 3D shapes that we see in everyday life, um, for example, shapes of houses or sheds or, or maybe gardens. And that can help us with planning. Say, for example, if we've got a drawing or a diagram of a, a house maybe or a shed, we should be able to work out what is this area here for example if we if we're given the dimensions let's say this is four meters this is three meters so there must be 12 meters squared this also to plan views and elevations so if a top view or plan view of a garden it looks like this so you know that it's going to be 2.5 meters this side and maybe 5.5 meters then you can work out the fencing or you could work out um, the surface area as well the area that this covers which helps with how much grass you're going to need to cover the area or to put fencing around as well. 